Hello and welcome to Wink. In this video, we will explain the methods for hanging Wink frame labels on your frames. We will also explain how to remove a label from a frame. And finally, we will explain how to reprint labels should you ever need to do so. Wink frame labels are made from a plastic type of material, which means they are high in quality and won't fade over time, making them better for inventory management purposes. They also have a non-adhesive loop, which means you don't have to clean the label glue off the temple of the frame every time you sell a frame to a patient or return your frame to the supplier. This non-adhesive loop, however, can be tricky to maneuver for newcomers to Wink, so this video is designed to explain the process for doing so in detail. There are actually two ways to hang a label off a frame, and the choice of methods ultimately depends on the width of the temple of that frame. The first method we will be showing you today is how to attach labels to frames with an average temple width, like this one here. Start by tearing the label from the printer upwards. Never pull it down, otherwise you risk decalibrating the printer. Next, pinch and fold the loop side of the label slightly so that the loop end sticks up and is easier to grab. Next, peel the label off of the paper backing by gripping the non-adhesive loop and pulling up. And don't be afraid to pull too hard, these labels will not tear. Next, stick just the bottom portion of the label to one of your fingers. Pick up your frame with the other hand, using only your index finger and your thumb. And line the label up to the, the bottom of the frame so that it's parallel to the frame. This can be a little bit tricky, but with a little bit of practice, you'll become a pro. Next, once it's lined up, use your thumb to hold the loop end and use your middle finger to grab the loop and secure it to the back side, like so. And last, simply bend the bottom portion of the label upwards along the perforated line and secure it to the back side so that it's adhered. Like so. I'm going to do that again, but this time I'll do it such that the price side of the label faces out instead of in. Take your label, pinch and fold the sides, Grab your, your label by the loop and then pull up so that it's removed from the paper backing. While still holding the loop side of the label, pick up your frame using your other hand. And this time we want to place the label on the inner side of the temple, but still making sure that it's parallel to the temple of the frame, like so. Using your middle finger to secure the loop end in place, Use your thumb to bring the loop end over so that it wraps around and that it sticks to the other side, like so. Now once you've done that, you simply need to bend the bottom portion upwards along the dotted line and secure it in place. And you're done. The choice of which way to hang the barcode is entirely up to you. We, however, recommend that the barcode side be out so as to facilitate scanning of barcodes during inventory audits. The second method we will show you today is how to attach labels to frames with a larger temple width, like this one here. Take your label, pinch and grab the loop end, and pull it off of the paper backing. Since this frame has a wider temple width, I'm not able to wrap the loop around it as I did before. Therefore, your easiest alternative is to simply stick the label directly on the frame, like this. Just at the bottom here. Now bend the loop end over, stick it to the other side, bend the bottom portion up so that it's along the perforated lines, and stick it to the other side of the temple. And there you have it. We're done. The next item I'd like to explain to you is how to remove a label from a frame. Since Wink frame labels are made of a polyester-like material, 
you shouldn't try to pull them off as you risk damaging your frame. We recommend using scissors to cut it off, or alternatively, we recommend twisting the label off, like so. And there you have it. Here's a picture of a third option. As you can see, the label can be glued to an optide, which itself is subsequently slid onto the frame. For an order of optides, call Wink and we will ship you a supply. The last item to cover with you in today's video is the process for reprinting barcodes in the event that you accidentally lose one, if one doesn't print properly, or if you don't stick it properly on the frame and you'd like to try it again. Here's how you do that. First, go back to your Wink interface, then click on G6 Reprint Barcodes. Next, type the serial number of the label you wish to reprint in this field and press Enter. Then click on Print. And there you have it. Your new label has printed out and the old label has been deactivated. This now concludes the video on the various processes for affixing labels to frames. During this video, we described three methods for affixing labels to your frames, ultimately being dependent on the frame's temple width. We also explained the process for removing labels from frames, and finally, we showed you how to reprint a label in the event that you ever needed to do so. On behalf of Wing, we thank you for watching and hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to share this video, like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to check out our YouTube page for our other awesome training videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.